There is a secret place in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, a lush volcanic rock that few people know about. It's called Madeira, but is it really a secret? Well, as you can see, there is an airport here, but there are no airplanes. That's of course not true. Madeira has been a popular travel destination for many years, but it's still widely undiscovered. Compared to the Canary Islands, Crete and Mallorca, Madeira barely exists. And that's why we made this video. We think this is Europe's best island and the last secret paradise. Welcome to paradise! And that's also why we live here. We have a hundred hours to show you all the things that makes Madeira a true bucket list destination. We will also show you how to travel this island, so you might want to bookmark this one. There are four things that makes Madeira a paradise. Fantastic weather, amazing food, epic nature and wonderful places to stay. You have world-class luxury hotels here. How about this breakfast view at Cliff Bay? Or this pool at Les Suites? They are right next to each other and we're staying at both. That's a really comfy bed. This is probably the greatest hotel room on Madeira. This bathroom is bigger than most Manhattan studio apartments. And so is the second bathroom. With a prime location and Funchal in the spotlight, this is a great place to start your paradise exploration. Funchal is the only big city on Madeira. With more than 100,000 people, it's no small town. You are never bored here and you'd be surprised how many great restaurants there are. How about the tuna of your dreams in the old town? Or the world's best chicken piri piri at Hoyo Hoyo. Hoyo Hoyo means welcome in Mozambique. Welcome to Il Galo Dodo, guys. This is a two-star Michelin restaurant with ingredients source from this very island. Madeira even produces both red and white wine. Did you guys know that when the American Declaration was signed, they actually cheered in Madeira wine? It is truly wonderful to try this creative take on the Madeiran food, but honestly we need to talk about the traditional food as well. This is a prego, and this is the Madeiran answer to a steak sandwich. What about espetada? La Pache, the original Madeira hamburger, or picado. You have to take advantage of the nature, because Otherwise, you will gain so many kilos that you can't wear the seatbelt on your way back. It's perfect warm-up for tomorrow's sunrise hike, you know? For getting around Madeira, we suggest you rent a car or a scooter. But since you most certainly will fall in love with the delicious puncha, you can also hire a driver. Of course, you have to be an adventurous spirit to cross the Madeira mountains on a scooter. But for exploring Funchal, it's just amazing. And this is Lido, a perfect place to go for a stroll and to have the best Italian food here on this island. And this incredible restaurant is located on the beautiful Villa Porto Mar Hotel. We made it to the Garden of Monte Palace, guys. And this is a very typical tourist destination. And usually people will come by the cable cars that go from the city center of Funchal. This place is a magical fairy tale world with so much history that you must visit. Some would say it's stupid to take the scooter this far up, but you can get much further up. If you continue that way, you have what I like to call the Portuguese Swiss Alps. In wintertime, you can literally go from snow on the mountaintop to tropical ocean life. On our way to the old town, we bumped into the toboggan sleds. This is such a cool experience and definitely worth doing. It might come as a surprise that Funchal has this authentic, pure, Eupirian charm. Here are three more things you must do in Funchal. Number one is to go for a Madeira wine tasting at Blandis. Go have a puncha at our favorite place. Get yourself an original Bolo do Caco at Mercado dos Labradores. And as you can see, the tuna here is incredible. And what's even more magnificent is that you can actually enjoy it here in the old town all year round because of these nice and warm evenings that we got. As you will fall in love with the old town, consider also staying at the Porto Santo Maria Hotel. After a wonderful dinner, we went back to the hotel to prepare for an early sunrise hike at Pico Rivo. That's the highest point on the island. I'm already exhausted. <laughs> Listen to the bird life. Every morning she start like this. Madeira has so many hikes. Whether you are into hardcore wild hiking or if you just want to go on a calm and nice levada, you just pick and choose. From Pico Ruivo, you have the most stunning hike to Pico Arriero, which is the second highest point. After a stunning sunrise hike, we went for a post-workout workout. Just kidding. It is, of course, massage time. Look at the view here. Wow.
And in case you didn't know, ear massage feels amazing. Madeira is all about relaxing, so we took the day to relax. So on Madeira we don't have many beaches, but who needs beaches when you have this beautiful coastline with rock pools and very warm water all year round? 19 to 25 degrees. And if you take the boat from here, three hours to Porto Santo, you have actually voted the best beach in Europe. Can you imagine a big yacht coming towards us? just to pick us up. I will dream for that tonight. This is Camada dos Lopos, and this is the cutest fisherman village on the entire island. You can even walk from Funchal or take the scooter like we did. And we do that very often because you have a host of cute restaurants here and the atmosphere is kind of like a mini version of Positano. That night I went to bed and something magical happened. watching on this one. Right up here you have Cabo Girao and this is the tallest sea cliff in Europe. If you don't believe that Madeira is a secret paradise sitting here on this boat. Then I... paradise doesn't exist if this <laughs> isn't it. When you enjoy a breakfast like this, you could argue that you only want to stay on the hotel for the whole day. But we do have to explore the island because that's what you do in paradise. So Madeira has perhaps the most advanced infrastructure in the world with more tunnels than the entire country of Switzerland. So that means that getting around the island is very easy. This is where we on Madeira wash our car. So on the south side of Madeira, you have what we call the sunny side. This is where it's usually warmest on the island. This is Calieta, and then you have Ponte do Sol, Ribeira Brava, and eventually Funchal. This is where everybody uh, comes to buy a house or build a house like we are. But now we are going to take the car and we are going to cross the top of the mountains to go to the north side. 20 minutes later, we are on top of the mountain, 11 degrees and we are inside the clouds. This is probably one of the most sacred places here in Madeira because this is where you find the laurel silver trees. These are endemic to Madeira and these are the sticks we use when we eat espetada. And you have so many microclimates on the island. So right now it's very cloudy, but in 10 minutes it could be pitch sun and blue skies. We love stopping and just have a look at all the flowers because this is an island of flowers. That's why we have a flower festival here. Amelie, what do you think is the best thing about the north side of Madeira? I think it is that here you find the most magnificent nature. You know, it's raw, it's dramatic. And there are stories of people, old people who have never left a little valley of the north side. This is one of the old roads of Madeira. Back then it was risky business to drive here. All the rocks that are coming down from up here, that's why we are very happy to have the tunnels here in Madeira. You want it back? All the way up there, on the far tip, you have a place called São Lourenço. It's really beautiful and it's the most eastern point of the island. Three more things to do here on the north side. Yeah. The first one would be the rock pools at Porto Muniz. Not too far away from Porto Muniz, you have the steepest cable car in Europe. And then, of course, you have to take to drive along the coast where there's no highway to really get a sense of the local lifestyle. Go see how the locals used to live. Jump from a waterfall. Escape your comfort zone with canyoning. Go off-roading in a Land Rover. Explore nature on an e-bike. Madeira is a theme park for nature lovers. And if you want to sleep in the mountains, Porto Bay Serra Golf is an excellent place to stay. So when you come back from a long day of exploring, you can be welcomed by a table like this and i think that's why we love staying in funchal we have everything here like the rest of the island is only a drive away and paradise is only a flight away perhaps madeira isn't a secret anymore but as our friend said describe the island in three words i'm not sure i can in three words but i think it's a hidden gym 100 hours were never enough for us and that's why we made this island our home and while island living isn't for everyone spending 100 hours here in paradise sure is 